computer going extremely slow. Mercury going to be going forward direct. And see Mercury and Aries, Mars ruled planet, and then we have Venus and Aries that's a Mars ruled planet, and then we have Mars that's still sleeping in Pisces, and it's going to go hit Neptune, which is like, man, all I can say right now is watch out for mankind. Mankind is gaslit and running uh, into an illusion. And that's what Mars Neptune meeting up is. It's kind of like, well, just hang in there. Mankind is going off into field. But here's what I pretty much know what's going to happen because I'm a Mars ruled person. And you don't keep Mars in the dark. <laughs> Aries people. They're not people that live in the dark. They they, they just break out of it. They, they put up with a lot and then they'll just, they'll just break out and say, fuck, I was here giving you a chance this whole time and you just can't seem to lift up. I'm out of here. And they just, bleh. so and they are the ones who, they're the first responders. Anyway, you have Aries somewhere in your chart. Now, Mars is going to be entering into Aries. Pardon my demeanor. I'm, I don't care. Mars. Mars is the warrior. Mars is the is the, that one who just says, no, nope, we're going to fight now and we don't put up with shit and uh, let's just get this done. Mars says, just do it. Big shirt. Just do it. You don't hesitate. You're too late when you hesitate. You have spontaneity that you depend on. You know it's divine. That's Aries, and if you missed your Aries, which is the first sign of the I am, and that's all, then you're wearing bubble wrap for the rest of your life, pretty much. And there is a society like that. They don't like the spontaneous feeling. Get it done and, and ask questions later. No, they think that you're a narcissist being all confident, and those are narcissists. They don't like your confidence. <laughs> Weird. They don't want an ego in flight either. They're like, cut those wings. Damn them. And why does water go downhill? <sighs> We've got to solve these fucking problems. You're not supposed to solve the problem with the truth, idiots. Let it solve you. Let it dissolve you. I was here to tell you about, um, babes, it's not going to get any easier from here on out. You can enjoy Mars floating around in the water saying, God, I can't seem to find my physical self, but I'm going to be here pretty soon. Let me take another drink. <laughs> Mankind, you know, but but really it's the organism's fire. And when it goes into to Aries on the 1st of May, see, for me, it goes over my ascendant and I'm Mars ruled and it's a reset. And when it hits six degrees, it's like, uh, anybody listening to this, um, send me love. Send me, send me nothing but soothing calming expressions that that you would wish you that you wish that i would take care of the best of me because the mars ruled people are very high strung we are intense we are we're not malicious but we can be seen as mean we we get we are high tempered we are just we like to play hard when i mean we like to play hard it's like no we're not doing handicap olympics we're doing real life olympics okay and we don't have handicap olympics please that's not right anyway sorry <laughs> anyway um hey aries can say some things and it's like you're rude and it's like truth is rude truth is poison to bullshit get back to mars going into aries i'm not going to get any better for mankind as far as no Mankind does not sit naturally asleep. Naturally, mankind is in awakening, and, it, and it's just going to keep trying to awaken and sticking its head out and saying, excuse me, and why don't you refine this now? Let's talk about it. See, with Mercury in Aries, still in the sign of Aries, and the, Mars rule, watch what happens when Mars gets into Aries. I am pretty much just doing a prime, and I'm like, God, this is really tough. We have to talk about this. We have to talk about that. We have to talk about this. And that would really begin to generalize for people, and then they can get a mindset of what's really important here because it's all mixed up. And what gets and takes advantage of the mix-up is the enemy over there. 
they don't even know what they're doing, but the mix-up is what they p depend on j just to get a cover-up for them. They get off scot-free, doing things unconsciously, which is harmful to us all, and then we're left with our first response to it, and then they pick on us. It's called reactive abuse, when they pick on our emotions. It's a society full of abused people, and then they, they treat you like they have treated their own children, which is abuse. Telling them, stop crying, and I will, and, and then I'll get you something. No, there's a natural order to things. At one point, if you really think that you're building a strong society, that you do tell people that, don't cry. Get it done, and I'll give you something. But other than that, we don't need that on fucking harsh, abusive mentality when we're just trying to get on our feet. And we're saying, I'm seeing something here, and they're saying, ah, no, you don't. It's not going to happen. There might be a, a place where it's like, God, this is really dreamy. It's it's on it's at the end of the month here when, when Mars is just tooling about in Pisces, and I feel it right now. The weirdest thing happened. I don't think I explained it, but... Okay, so I know I know that if I had money and I played the lotto, which I don't have money, so I don't play the lotto, and I but I would win. I know I would win because I'm having a, Mar a Venus square Jupiter. Not only that, a fourteen year old fourteen year reset with Jupiter trying a conjunct the planet of unpredictability. I could win so much. I'm supposed to, but I I can't. I'm stuck in the narcissist paradigm. I'm stuck in limbo. I not, by the way, I'm not waiting for anybody. Really, I'm not. Nah. These people are playing a, de a game that is, and they think that they're saviors and shit, and it's like, God, you're the worst of the worst. First of all, it's not divine timing. It's fucking, like I said, it's um, hesitating because of fear, and it's running away from its own evolutionary process, which is just feelings coming up. Did you get a feeling? Did it make you feel something? No. Nope. I am love, and you don't resist that. You can misunderstand it, too. We can have a massive, massive, massive misunderstanding. Achieved love yet? Well, they're not going to resonate, and you're not going to receive any blessings, either. It's just not going to come in. You don't deserve something that you just can't, that you're not capable of receiving. So then, Mars moves into Aries. Wartime. Wartime. Big time spiritual war. With Because <laughs> Neptune is right on the precipice of getting, going into Aries, too. Whoops. Tit flash. That's going to make it. I'm going to put up there. Tit flash. And then I'll get like 300 views and 19 likes. It's too bad because I, 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 I you know, believe it or not, I'm going to keep being who I am. And I just, I think I'm saying something. I do. I think I'm I see people refuse to believe that this is, that I'm even real. It's like, I don't care what you think about me. Uh, of course, I've been this way all my life. It's been weird. And people take me for granted. You don't do that especially to an Aries, you do not take us for granted. Because when we finally just turn away and say, you know what, I've given you so much time. I have been nothing but patient. A point, a, a patience that you can't even detect. You can't even detect an Aries' patience. Because they're so quick and so on it, and they already know they're just waiting for you to see. And when they have just given up on you and, and said, fuck it, a long time ago, um, th they can see that, that you were not participating in reality, and they are nothing but reality. The I am. So this is going to keep coming awake here. It's gonna, the Christ consciousness, in other words, is going to keep coming awake. And it's not going to get any easier for people that are sidestepping and can't keep up. They can't keep up. It's like, well, what happened? Well, you, you're not using your fucking mind. You're not taking it all the way to, to the top. Did you know? That we could have used the thing that you're ignoring there, which you had, but you couldn't see it because you're thinking in another way. And you're just not thinking in terms of being purely aware. It's the mind thinking. And it isn't the mind receiving. Two different things. And we're going to keep talking about this. The difference between the thinking mind and the mind turned into a receiver. Two different times of fucking people to run in here. Run into here and... It's sad because I see very little of it. I know that I'm seeing just a glimpse of what our real lives entail. They talk about it here. And I'm like, well, there it is. Yes, I'm experiencing astral travel. Yes, I feel more presence of spirit guides than these fucking zombies here calling themselves human beings in, in 3D. 
Yes, I'm seeing everything for what it is. I have 20-20 vision, even though my two eyes are going blind. I'm pretty sure they can go completely out and I'll, and I'll be able to just, just put me in a, into a ribbed cage and I know what I'm here to do. I keep, I keep radiating. See, the most powerful people are the elders who just sit and they know how to... It's a, it's a different brainwave state than meditation. It's a different brainwave state than meditation or thinking. And I think I'm already doing it. Um, see, it's just it's just sitting, and it's not th thinking. It's it's like it's um, it's resonating. It's resonating. It's just going. It's going in. See, <coughs> some people know this about me, but um, other people don't because they don't have proof. But I I, I have brought it into um, clarity, conscious awareness that I can enter into people's dreams. This is what a lot of people, a lot of the few are doing. <clears throat> they know how to, um, it's a whole different life. They, they're not showing you. They're saying, oh, see, you have to deprive yourself of sleep to get in a certain state. You have to get, go through certain stresses to be in a certain state. And fortunately or unfortunately, accidentally, I've hit those states. And then I moved into those, those frequencies of being able to see more. For instance, Benjamin Frank Franklin, he was somebody who achieved something, who knows what, but, but the way that these people come up with their inventions, they're receiving and see, one of the ways is that you, they don't want to go to sleep because they begin to open up into the other realms and they're staying conscious to it, instead of just falling asleep and then getting downloads. See, I think, you know, I think, I don't know, but see, this is what they were doing is uh, you hold a steely ball over a pot. Make sure your hand is over and you keep gripping it. And the moment you fall asleep, that ball is going to drop and it's going to wake you up. That's what they used to do. That's what Benjamin Franklin used to do. Now, as I'm talking about to enter into a different state of being able to receive uh, downloads on a clar in a clarity that is different from just sleeping at night. And so then the, the brainwave state that's different than meditating or thinking, which is, a, I have yet to get the name of it, but I know what, what it's like. See, you can't be around an elder or a wise person without feeling that energy. And it's and it's it's it can be troubling because you're just a mind there going, uh, you are part of the problem. It's like, nope. No. See, the right one, see, my grandma was this way. She turned herself into a, a, a an aperture, just a machine that resonates as prayer. As prayer. She just turned into a, a pure prayer meditation kind of person. That's the way you're supposed to live, you know, especially when your body is breaking down, which it's kind of limited to the, from the very beginning and it's breaking down from the very beginning. So you better figure out how to become that resonation of prayer that is so much more than what, we, what you think it is. It's a resonation that begins to wiggle the air and then you can get a lot of things into you, right? It's not the same as asking for something like, oh, God, please let me have this. No, the real way to ask for something from God is say, God, I am so grateful for everything I'm going through now. However, fuck it up. It really is. I understand that you're trying to teach me something. I am so grateful for that. And I'm ready to receive more. I am so grateful for you helping me again. Thank you. Just thank God that it's coming and make space. That's the way that you ask for something. You don't come from a place of lack. Say, I. I'm able to receive all I have, have now, thanks to you, and please, thanks to you, thank you for letting me receive more. I've been having a hardest time with that. It's, it's a bad thing that has come up for three or four years now. I already tried to explain it. I'm catching it, and I'm seeing it, and I'm trying to understand it. It's, it's akin to me to self-harm. It's very dangerous. I may have been doing it before on an unconscious level, but no, it's never been so destructive than in the last three or four years where if it's somebody that I know that's trying to love me and, and help me, I, 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 I make sure I push them away. I'm pushing away my nourishment and, and I'm just remaining deteriorating and getting more and more just skeletized. And that's not me. I'm, t I'm here to tell you right now, you fucking narcissists who do not know how to hold on to a good memory and just stick us to bad shit. That's not really me. Nope. No, it's not. 
And you know what? I see something happening here. It's like, well, what are you going to do to be you again, Shauna? I'm going to be a new me that says, no, we got to figure this out. And I will. I've written an article that starts to say, state th certain things, you see. And the people that were mocking me up here just because I had a human emotion and they did reactive abuse to me because I said no to them. I just disagreed about everything that they were doing. I told them they were wrong, basically, and they didn't like it. All they can do is pick on me and, and condemn me, and, and now I'm sandwiched in between this. <laughs> to me, it's just, I'm in a dangerous neighborhood. And to me, I know. I know why I'm here. I'm chosen. We are The chosen ones, the real live, 144 activated. Genes who get and say, excuse me, and they wake up, but they are stationed in places like this. Why? Because you have to be. You have to be right in the middle of the war zone and say, excuse me, and you guys, you think I'm full of shit, and guess what? The tables are going to start turning where just the higher courts of laws are going to say, no, in fact, these people are full of shit. They have chosen something that is pollutant rather than thinking twice and doing something better for themselves and everybody. That's insane. They should have their money taken away and redistributed to people who are actually trying to help things and heal things here. What do you think? Come on, side up with your leaders because we will, I will just sacrifice myself. Say, fuck it. Start hacking on me and say, yep, we know the truth now, don't we? <laughs> That's what they did to Jesus. So that what may live. You bet.